So, little birdie tells me you have a new love in your life. I do. I do too. Oh my god, so do I. Ah! How'd you meet your guy? You know the bar in New Orleans where you could in the attic? Yeah. There. Nice. So, where did you meet your love? The park. It was so romantic. We were both going to sniff the same sunflower, and then we ended up bumping lips and tongue kissing for hours. Now that's what I call love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the police got called. Now that's what I'm talking about. So Terry, tell us about the love that you've got in your life. I built a birdhouse. What? A birdhouse. I love birds. Sound now, man? Nope. Birds. Why? I have no interest. I'm asexual. Ace for short. I'm asexual too. Oh really? Yeah, asexual plaything for men. Oh, when I was in that dark New Orleans f attic, I was getting poked and prodded with silicone this and leather that. And your new guy was the one using toys on you? No, but he watched and he liked it. See, this is why I don't mention that I'm asexual because everyone just thinks it's a joke. I don't think it's a joke. You just don't look like someone who would be asexual. Oh yeah? How do you think someone that's asexual should look like? Why don't you tell us what asexual means in layman's terms? It's when someone has little or no sexual interest in another person. So you don't like guys? Not like you in that attic. Do you watch porn? Sometimes. And when I do, I'm not fantasizing about being with them. Don't you want a boyfriend? It's virtually never on my mind. Really? Yeah, but this bird sanctuary that I'm building on my roof is. Check out the way I whittled this perch on my- No! Ugh. Birds do nothing for me. Well, the thought of two bodies, naked and sweaty and sticky and just like stretching each other out to full max does nothing for me, but I have to listen to you guys drone on about it over and over again. Yeah, sometimes I wonder what the hell it even is I'm sitting on. Why would someone want to be asexual? There's a lot of reasons why somebody could be asexual. It could be hormonal, it could be a natural disinterest in sexual activities, or it could be sparked by some past trauma. But which do you have? It's none of your business. Okay. okay. People who are asexual sometimes feel like they have to come out in a way. They feel misunderstood or alone or isolated, and it takes some time for them to get comfortable with it. Kind of like everybody in the LGBTQIA plus community. Yep, there's a whole asexual spectrum. It's not just a black and white community, it's very gray. And I respect that. And I respect your bird life. And thank you. And I respect that you both are boy crazy. I'm obsessed with them. What's his name? Mark. Matt. M Miles? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm not boy crazy. I'm just a love bug. Yeah? Well, what happened with that guy at the park? Ugh. Oh, turns out he's allergic to sunflowers, goes into anaphylactic shock. Oh my god. Ugh, man. Uh, Michael. His name is Michael. You really couldn't remember that? Hey, I named one of my birds Michael. Sometimes I shove him up my ass. Oh, the, the, we always need a canary in the coal mine. <laughs>